James Bond. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach uh, 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 Cedric Taylor. This is R.C. Calhoun from the Inglewood Park Cemetery. Is, is this Cedric? Yeah, 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 this is Cedric. What, what's happening? Listen, are you familiar with the Delores Williams? Yeah, that's my mama's sister. Yeah, but she did. Right, right. She's buried here at the Inglewood Park Cemetery. Now, well, listen, let me tell you why I'm calling you. We are, uh, my family, the Calhoun family, have decided that we're going to sell the Inglewood Park Cemetery. And uh, we're calling all the people's loved ones who are buried here. So what what's going on, Mr. Taylor? Is we've sold this uh, property to the to the city, and they have purchased the property from us. So they they own the land that the cemetery is on now. But what's going on is they getting ready to build a freeway through here. So what we're doing is calling all the loved ones because these bodies are gonna have to be dug up and moved. So the what? Lord, the Lord, yeah, that, that's right. But but my mom over there too, Miss Renee Taylor. Your mama is is buried that. Well, what they doing is they gonna be um, moving these bodies because the, the city then decided they gonna build a free oh. they gonna build a freeway through there. So what's going on is we calling people so they'll know what they can decide if they want to move it to a different cemetery that they like or they gonna leave it up to us to oh, move. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold. hold. Excuse me, sir, Mr. Calhoun. I, let me let me let me just get to the point right off the bat. You calling me to tell me that you are gonna dig up my auntie's body and my mama's body? What, you what, what, the, excuse me, sir. I I ain't trying to go there with you to anonymous, but you have lost your m mind. If you think you are gonna dig up my mama's body, I got news for you, partner. I will be. I will find you. I will find you, sir, and it will not be pleasant. That's that ain't no threat. That ain't no promise. That's a guarantee. I'm crazy. You don't call nobody and tell me you're going to dig up the body. But well, you're going to dig up the body for and do what? Well, what? They're, they're building the freeway through there is what I'm saying. And we done sold that property to the city. The city going to build up the freeway through there. Yeah, so, so that's, that's sacred ground. I wish you and the city would try to dig up my mama's body. You have lost. You going to call me today with some... Uh, uh, ain't nobody else cuss you out today? Well, I've had some problems with some of the people, but... but well, you're you going to have a real problem right now, sir. Uh, if you're going to call me and tell me you, you're going to dig up the body, the city going to dig up the body, and you done sold the place, uh, you, you can't call people with like that. That's f***ed up. Oh, that's f***ed up, sir. That's f***ed you. And you try to dig up my mother's body, God help me, so I will not be responsible. You don't lost your mother mind to call people and tell them like that. How you going to do that? Well, it's, 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 it's my duty as an official of the cemetery to call folk and let them know what's going on. That's okay, all okay. I want to do. Now, I don't want no problem, Mr. Taylor. I'm just trying to be honest and open-minded with you about it. We can move the body to, to another if cemetery. So, if, you, if you're so open-minded, so how come you didn't call everybody and give them notice way in advance when your family was thinking about selling the place, not when you done sold the place? How come you didn't do that then? People could have got petitions together and everything and said, dog, you can't do that. But see, you done got your little piece of the pie. Oh, I'm your f Like, yeah, you get your little piece of the pie and then you tell you f everybody else. Well, let me tell you something, Miss Collins. If you call if you call me with some f like this again and you say you're going to move my mama's body, you say you're going to move my auntie's body, I don't give a f it's going to be on. It's going to be on. And pop. Mr. Taylor, we're not trying to have no problem with you. I'm just saying I, 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 it's my duty to call you and ask you if there's another particular cemetery you'd like for us to move your mama to or okay. your angel. I did not know before I made the phone call that your mother was buried there. I probably not. I, I, didn't, right. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. All right. You didn't know that. Well, that's cool. And then I tell you what, Mr. I tell you what, Mr. Calhoun. Since you didn't know, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You didn't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you that. How about this? How about you just bring the bodies to my house and I'll put them in the garage. And when you come, I'll have channel 4, channel 7, channel 11, channel 9, channel 13 here. How about that, sir? So they can see what you've done. What? you got going on. How about I, that, sir? I'm not, you know not, that's not, that's against the law to me to bring a body and bring it to your house like that. It's not against the law that you done sold a place and dug it and you want to dig up the bodies and give them to me and tell me to do something with them. That ain't against the law, huh? What kind of is that? And then you want to call me with like this. I got wife, I got kids, holidays coming up. Well, look, and speaking of your wife, that's, uh, that's Sister Juanita Taylor, ain't it? Yeah, what you know about my wife? She the one put me up to this. This is a prank phone call. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked, oh, said. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
dog. Oh, that's some dirty. <laughs> yeah, dirty, dirty. Say oh, it. you dirty. <laughs> your wife Juanita said, you know, mess with him about his ain't it the lowest wig you supposed to. That's your favorite, ain't it? Am I right? Yeah, they, yeah. Oh, oh Juanita did. It's, it's your wife Juanita, dog. Oh, Juanita, it's on, baby. It is on. Hey, bro, let me ask you, what's the baddest radio show in the land, man? Oh, man, it's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Reach, uh, Mr. Mr. Yeah, this is Mr. 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 How you doing? Um, uh, doing fine. My name. I'm calling you. I live down the street from you. I'm about eight, eight, nine houses down the way. Okay. You, you, you are the one that fixed the cars, don't you, down there? That's correct, sir. I've, I fixed the cars. Well, I've been fixing cars lately, sir, because I've been um laid off work. So I'm just trying to, you know, make an earnest living, trying to support the family right about now. Oh, oh, okay. I see. What I was calling for now, man. Now last week. Mm -hmm. I don't know if one of your guys or somebody worked for you. Somebody came and, man, parked on my grass at my house. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, I, and, and, I mean, I got a little bit of oil on my sidewalk, and, and I don't, you know. Well, look, uh, I'm going to have to send. Well, look, I'm going to have to come out there and clean that up, man, because, uh, like I say, this is how I make a honest living, and I'm trying to keep all my neighborhoods and then all my neighbors, you know, happy or whatever while I'm working on these cars because, you know, majority of my neighbors know. Now, I, I, I guess you didn't know. That's why you give me the phone call now. But uh, I don't have no complaints on no other neighbors because I fix their cars all the time. But um, if it was something left in the yard, I mean, you know, I can come up there myself and clean it up, sir. Sorry about that, and that won't happen again. Oh, oh okay. Well, now, now, last week I got somebody that came... And took the little emblem off off my Mercedes Benz, you know. Okay. And, and I don't, I, I'm not saying it's one of your people, but it's just so much activity down there. That is man. Too. Well, you know, they did the same thing to an old Pontiac I was working on, and I I didn't know what it was. I think it's the youngins in the, the, the neighborhood stealing cars or something. But I, um, I'm pretty sure they didn't come from me down here because I don't steal emblems, sir. If anything, I put them back on the cars. Oh, okay. Well, let let me ask you this here, man. How how long are you gonna how are these cars on the street, you know? Uh, well, I try to get them. I try to do same day service. So I try to get them in in the morning, get them out by the afternoon. I try to do that. But if um if that's not possible, uh, I say about four days up to a week, the longest that they'll be on the street. Okay, but now it's a Volkswagen two doors down from you. It's been sitting there in front of them people house might near two months now. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm in the process of putting a brand new engine in now, but I'm sorry about that. But I try to park it, you know, out of the way of everybody. But I'm, you know, that's a special project right there. Oh, that's oh, a special okay. project I got to get finished. I'm not really trying to raise no whole lot of trouble, man. But now, right. I, what, 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 one of the biggest problems I'm having, when I got folks come visit me, you know, they ain't got uh -huh. nowhere to park. They can't park on the street. You got the street taken up with all your cars. You know, I, I, I can't have people coming over here. And when they pass through there, it's a car everywhere. Ain't nowhere to park for nobody when people got visitors coming to their house. Man, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let me Look, I'm going to tell you what you could do, boss. I can give you my number. And like a week ahead of time before you have company, let me know and I can move some of the cars out the way. There's no problem. I can do that for you, boss. Why in the hell do I have to call you and give you a uh, uh, notice on when I'm going to have some because I'm company? That's my business when I'm going to have company. I thought you understand I'm trying to raise my family, put food on the table. I understand. I said, then then you need to get you a shop, man. You need to get a mechanic shop so people can, when well, you got a yard and stuff, you can park these damn cars in. Well, man, that's what I'm trying to do, man. Hey, look, I'll fix your car for free anytime it breaks down. I'm my trying car to, ain't I'm broke down, and when break it breaks down, I'll take it to the dealership and get it fixed at the damn dealership. I don't need the cat down there and have it sitting in front of somebody's house for two, three. Let me explain something to you, Mr. Here's right. what I, didn't, I didn't, uh, decided that I'm going to do. Now, what I'm going to call the Homeowners Association and see how they want to handle this here. But other than that, I really got a good notion to call the tow truck and come down there and just tow some of these damn cars out the way. That ain't going to be possible, boss. Ain't no tow truck coming down here towing. Oh, I just told you I'm going to have this off the street, man. I can't have no tow truck coming out here towing my cars, dog. I got a pit bull in the front. I got a pit bull in the back. And the I ain't eating like three days, boss. Don't have no tow truck come down here. You feel what I'm saying? They can't come down here towing my man. They get them cars off the damn street then. You get them off the street. I'm, I'm down there sweating, boss. Come on, man. Don't do that to me, man. Problem with that, though, brother. I'm trying to make a living, baby. I don't need no hookup, man. I need you to move your damn cars. You're making the neighborhood look bad. I'm move my boss. 
I'm calling the homeowners association and I'm getting them to move them cars if you don't move them. I'm gonna have a tow truck out there this evening. This some bo- hey look, what I just tell you, dog? Look, I'm telling you, look, let me finish doing these four ass cars and then I come eight houses down, man, you can talk. Now if I see a tow truck come down here, I'm gonna come eight houses down and I'm knocking on your back door. Let's work it out. I don't care what you knock on, man. You better move them down. You got till six o'clock man, this man, evening. Man, 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 I'm telling you, man, I have every go within three days, man. You got me cussing and everything. I got a customer here, man. I don't give a about your customer. I give a about them damn cars that you got on the street. If you leave all eight houses now, park your in your yard. You're going to make me walk down there and tell you face to face on how this finna go. That's what you're going to make me do. Hey, boy, I'm going to see your eight houses up. I'm on my way down that man. Which, 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 which house you live in, man? The left, the left side of me or the right side of me eight houses now. I'm in the walking down in there with my dogs, man. What's up? Hey, man, you ain't... I'll come out there right now. You ain't got to come to my house. Come on, I'm walking. I don't see you. What's out in the street? I'm all with these two big dogs. What's up? I'm on my way out there to see you and your dog. But before I come out there, I got one more thing I want to say to you. Is you listening to me, Ray, for... Man, what the you got to say, man? I'm trying to fix the cars. What? Is you listening? I'm listening. This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your boy. This who? <laughs> who this? <laughs> hey, hey, this Nephew Tommy, man, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show, baby. Oh, that's a <laughs> man. Oh, come on, man. You had me scared as a man. I told the lady just pulled up. I got to change your mouth, man. <laughs> man, that's, man, that's some that's like. <laughs> I'm gonna get that, baby. I'm gonna get his. I swear. <laughs> hey man, I got one more thing I need to ask you, partner. Let me ask you one more thing. What is, what is the baddest radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show with that crazy. Yes, you. Let's go, cat dog. I'm gonna make him an offer, again. I left this prick last week asked me to christen his kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went for seven thousand. They charged me. <laughs>